Hello and welcome to the cathedral as I'm standing here at the high altar, a place where we gather week by week to pray for our own reconciliation, for the reconciliation of the world. And this is a place which uh, we will be gathering on the 25th of May for our Diamond Jubilee. And we'd love to invite you to be part of the journey, uh, celebrating the journey that's led us to this point and which will lead us on. The 25th of May is a Wednesday and it sits right in the middle of what we're going to call an octave or a week of prayer for the reconciliation work of the cathedral, running from the Sunday before to the Sunday after and revolving of course around that uh, great celebration service which we'll be having on the Wednesday. But if you can come, we'd love to have you here. The Archbishop of Canterbury will be present here in the cathedral in this service at 11 o'clock. And on that evening, we're going to have a lovely big banquet, a celebration. Uh, we're going to fill the cathedral with people from near and far. But even if you can't come, we'd love you to be part of the prayers and the reflection that are going to fill that week as we celebrate all that has been part of that journey from a fractured past towards a shared future, healing the wounds of history, learning to live with difference and celebrate diversity and building a culture of peace. So we're going to, after the uh, prayers to launch that, uh, that week of prayer on the Sunday afternoon, we're going to be having uh, three online gatherings, seminars, if you like, that we'd love you to think about being part of. On the Monday afternoon, thinking perhaps about healing the wounds of history, we're going to be thinking about where we've left after these years of pandemic and healing the uh, economic, spiritual health wounds that we have experienced in our planet. Uh, on the Tuesday, we're going to be thinking about some of the other impacts that we've played a part in uh, in addressing over the years, particularly in terms of our racial diversity and some of the issues around uh, racial justice. On the Friday, we invite you to be part of a conversation with the international reps uh, of the community of the Cross of Nails, thinking about where we go forward in the community of the Cross of Nails. All those meetings are going to be online running in the afternoon uh, UK time to try and make it possible for people from across the world to join with us from as far as the, um, as the eastern coast of the United States and Canada across to uh, Europe and across to the Indian subcontinent. We hope that the timing will work for that. It's not been an easy decision to uh, decide that uh, probably we can't do a mass physical gathering in Coventry for the community of the Cross of Nails, but the International Board has thought and prayed long and hard about this and has decided that we should postpone that in-person gathering until May of 2023. So do mark that in your diaries. But in the meantime, if you can plan to be with us online uh, for that gathering this, this coming May, then we would love to see you. Registration for those events will be open in a couple of weeks time. Uh, but in the meantime, if you've got any questions for us, then please post them. Get in touch with Alice, the community of the Cross and Nails, coordinator or with me and we'd love to respond. This cathedral has played a part in leading uh, not just this city but actually really people across the world on that journey of reconciliation over our 60 year history, 80 years now since the destruction of the old St Michael's Cathedral. This diamond jubilee is an opportunity to give thanks for the journey God has led us on and to commit ourselves for the future. And in a week when we are praying so much for our sisters and brothers on the border of Russia and Ukraine, it's a reminder that the message of reconciliation is always pertinent, it's always relevant, and the world needs whatever we can offer in ourselves and in our prayers to partner with God in his work of reconciliation. God was in Christ reconciling the world to God's self and has committed us to the ministry and message of reconciliation. 
let's continue to be part of this journey together.